What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back, and I wanna do a quick little update here. We'll take minute, maybe two. Uh, if you could sit through it, I'd appreciate it. If not, skip ahead uh, to the important parts, but I wanted to apologize for no video on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Friday was a really busy day for me. Uh, quick synopsis, I work at the gro a grocery store as a manager, so you obviously know how that went uh, with the coronavirus. And then Wednesday and Thursday had internet and computer issues, so just couldn't do anything with it. Um, that's why I also want to apologize for no stream. That will now be taking place on Monday. Uh, that's when I'm hoping to do that. I'll have that up and running at 8.30 a.m. hopefully, so please tune in and check that out. I would very much appreciate that. Um, it's over at twitch.tv slash rejectedgaming. I, I. Uh, link is always in the description. I'll include it up at the top of the description with all of the links to the stuff I'll be covering today. Uh, and then uh, on top of that, I'm hoping to continue. I, I want to do like five videos a week, so that's going to be the goal. And we'll be back to the normal BDO uh, videos here uh in uh or video news videos here starting next wednesday so let's get into this sorry for that little intro for you guys did keep it under two minutes at a minute and a half so let's hop right in so first on 311 we had minor patch notes nothing too big this is going to be a more console news segment than it is going to be just a um bdo i do have three bdo tabs to cover two pso2 and two bless unleashed tabs so more of a console but stuff to cover and we'll go over the black desert first because that's what people are normally here for so so for the minor patch they fixed an issue where the benefits of the secret book of old moon item were not correctly applied and the remaining time of the buff was not being displayed um as mentioned in the previous link after the maintenance on march 1st had their buffs extended during today's maintenance so uh, after the week, they had they adjusted it and fixed that issue. So fixed an issue where in certain situations it would be possible for the number of node war participants to be higher than that allowed. Uh, fixed an issue where the server status code did not accurately display the ser status of the server. Uh, we have made changes to the wording that shows on a server select screen. These changes are intended to accurately reflect the current status of the server. Crowded means it's popular. Overrun means it's crowded. That is probably a really good way to have that. I'm not sure that crowded is probably the pet. They pro yeah, I mean, they change it to popular crowded. I wish they probably would have changed it and kept an overrun, which means, like, don't join the server, essentially. I think they could have had a third one, but that's just me. Um, not accurate to the current situation with the servers. When a server showed crowded, it was not stressed in terms of population, but instead it's just well populated when a server shows overrun. Does not mean that it is near full, but instead it's very busy and that as a team, we need to look closely at the numbers and decide how to proceed. Since crossplay, these numbers have been monitored closely and the numbers are within the acceptable limits. Yeah, that goes back to what I was saying. I like the idea of popular crowded and overrun i think we still need the overrun that's like a we're very full not worth joining the server type of full um or at capacity um so that's just suggestions from me <laughs> moving on to the pearl shop updates uh we had the event premium plus classic outfit set um for 7275 pearls uh premium box times two classic outfit box mervs palette and mervs palette 10 percent discount coupon we also had the popular pet pack, which these are the popular pets, as well as a pet appearance change coupon and Kempacho's chewable tablets times 20 for 2,000 pearls. Uh, you get the Desert Fox, Welsh Corgi, and Lost Penguin. I believe I have the Lost Penguin. I believe I had the Desert Fox, but I used it to level up one of my characters or one of my pets. Uh, we also have the Shiny Master of Enchantment pack, Artisan's Memory times 50, Mystical Artisan's Memory bundle, Advice of the Volks plus 20, and 2,250 pearls is the cost. We also have the Shiny Master of Enhancement pack, 2, Artisan's Memory times 100, Mystical Artisan Memory bundle times 2, and Advice of the Volks plus 40 for 4,000 pearls. Uh, we also had Mystical Artisan's Memory Bundle, Possible Items, and there are their drop rates. I'm not going to go into too specific with all of them, but uh, yeah, those are the percentage rates of the drops out of the Mystical Artisan's Memory Bundle. Mostly Martisan's Memory at different quantities. Can also get Crone Stones at 120 and 100, and Memory Stones at 40 and 30 quantities, respectively. Um... 
interesting not too many major changes pretty much expected with uh, the new update just coming out also they wanted to announce regarding shy costumes we like to inform you that after crossplay update on march 4th the appearance of shy class costumes outfits has been adjusted to what was originally applied in the xbox version uh with longer underwear uh, playstation 4 users who have purchased shy costumes or outfits before march 1st are entitled to a full refund the item will be removed if they apply via support tickets uh link here's the link you can click on if you go to the article uh before april 14th of 2020 so you still have about a month to take care of that next we have pso2 news um it's not actually here but we have the next open beta uh the open beta is going to occur on march 17th which is um tuesday um of march uh, don't believe it has an exact start date yet uh so I'll hop into that, but like I said, on stream on Tuesday, I'll probably hop on and do something on my Sork real quick, and then we'll switch over to PSO2, or I'll do my dailies on Blessed Unleashed, and then we'll switch over to PSO2. One of those things will occur. Uh, probably the dailies on Blessed, now that I think of it, because we'll do dailies on Blessed on Monday, and then we'll do Black Desert on, on Monday as well after we do the dailies. Um, but hopping into this, we have two editions. There is a third edition announced. They just don't have it up on their website yet. So hopefully they'll get that up here soon and I can go over that maybe in next week's video. Um, so we have the Sonic collaboration edition. So you get this Sonic outfit for your character as well as all of this different stuff, which I'll go to in just a second. It is $60 uh, USD. I believe this will be available for purchase on the 17th. You cannot pre-order it yet. At least I couldn't find it on the Xbox store. So I'm going to assume you can't pre-order it yet. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm assuming you can't. So you get out of this, you get the Sonic suit, male or female outerwear, Sonic hair one and two, emote, Sonic and tails, Sonic Knuckles, it's a weapon camo. Sonic Mask is an accessory. Regal Memory times five. Inventory Expansion times five, that's big. Premium Set, 30 day pack. Mission Pass Gold Ticket. Beauty Salon Free Pass. Character Storage Expansion, 50 times five. EXP, that's big for me. I was filling up the storage in the beta. Uh, EXP earned plus 150% times 15. Try Boost plus 125% times 10 grinder times 500 i'm not sure what grinder is but grinder times 500 ac scratch ticket times 12 and great enhancement aid plus 50 percent times 99 so pretty good deal i think overall for stuff you can buy it's a founders pack um they haven't really released a set price for pso2 when it full releases i'm assuming it's going to be free to play so this is a way you can support the developers and also get some cool stuff um pso2 is known a lot for its crossovers and so this is one of those crossovers with sonic uh, it's a big crossover probably with the movie is what i'm guessing and so for 60 dollars, you can support the game i'll be picking it up um to help support the game as well as get the cool in-game items next we have the regal edition and so this is going to give you um this is thirty dollars and i believe it says limited one per account but i believe you can buy it three i believe people were saying you could buy it three times um the other there's another one there's uh well you can buy okay hold on let me let me let me go over this and then i'll let me i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself um so what's included in the regal edition is regal memory times 10 premium set 30 days times one mission pass gold ticket times one and 12 ac scratch tickets uh it's limited to one per account the regal fashion pack will be available for multiple purchases and so we'll go over that um i guess they don't actually have it up i believe the regal fashion pack is for getting different outfits for your characters like you can see the different outfits here the regal fashion pack will unlock those they just don't have the details exactly of the regal fashion pack uh, i believe those are the two different ones the one that i was thinking they would add later but i still think they need to add the regal fashion because it's not it doesn't exactly tell you what comes in that i'm assuming it's just an outfit swap but uh, not entirely sure so using regal memories as a currency is easy with the help of badge and memory exchanger nanan uh, who is located on the second floor of the shopping plaza. Once there, exchange Regal memories for select outfits from your favorite characters, mag evolution devices, or accessories. Some of the items available included PSO 
posters, Huno Whirl, uh, replica outfit, Raycast replica outfit, Phonum hat accessory, Flown Shield accessory, card weapon camo for harmonizer weapons, evolution device needler, and more. Music to her ears. Some players have mentioned a desire to bring the music of Fancy Star Online into their life. Why not bring it into Oracle as well? Regal memories can also be exchanged for music discs, which can be added to the jukebox in your personal quarters. The jukebox can be purchased for, for fun points from Fundamentalist Edowal at the Fundam on Funporium. Depending on your mood, you can change tracks. So there's all the stuff that you can buy. I believe the uh, fashion pack is unlimited purchases. And so that'll allow you to continue to buy different outfits as you want them. Moving on to the Bless Unleashed, we have Watch, Twitch, and Earn. So this special event ends on April 6th. So grab some snacks, eye drops, and turn on your gaze towards these streamers. These are their partnered streamers that you can get these Twitch drops from, I believe. Um, so Pyreborns, brace yourself for all the drops you earn this month. Earn drops from watching sponsored pre and preferred content creators play on Twitch. Be sure the streamer of your choice has drops enabled for a chance to win random rewards for every 30 minutes you've tuned in. Drops are delivered to the premium items bag of the first server you log into after receiving the drops. Please make sure you log into the server you want your drops on if you are expecting a Twitch drop. Uh, what, so your reward, rewards are 1x purple dye and 1x white dye and purple and white axe break mount so there is your axe break mount pretty cool looking mount uh this will be cool um to have twitch drops enabled um i'm assuming that the hands are preferred uh i'm a i'm assuming the hands are preferred and the regular people are sponsored but don't actually know um they're gonna keep partnering more and more streamers so hopefully um Hopefully they get more listed here. Plenty of these, I'm sure all five of them are great to watch, but it's always nice when they have a large variety of content creators to watch. Uh, also, we got the Bless Pass Season 1. So Best Pass 1 is officially live. Um, you can also earn over 100,000 star seeds from this, but we're going to click into here because I believe this will show us all the rewards. This is really all that matters from this. There's, oh, it, it actually kicked me out. Hold on. I'll go back real quick. It doesn't mention a whole lot here. Uh, they fixed a couple of things um, in it, but mostly we want to look at this. So it is 50 tiers, which is pretty nice, uh, but let's go over these individually. So there's the standard bless pass and there's the enhanced bless pass. Um, we're going to go over all of it. I'll point out some of the more interesting and important stuff there's some stuff that i just don't think is all that important i don't need to read over it like i don't need to read over every summon ticket for portable stuff so gold lucky box here at the bonus reward is nice i'm assuming you get a set amount of or a, a random amount of gold same out of the lucky and star seed one down here basic star seed booster for 30 days is also pretty nice um you have 30,000 star seeds at level 15 Golden Lucky Star Seeds, again, at 20. It looks like every five levels you get um, some bonus reward boxes. 300,000 gold here at level 27. 30,000 Star Seeds at level 29. Um, there's, let's see, Gold Boost Ticket for three days here at level 39. An Exclusive Mount at level 42. Um, and then you get a Costume Outfit at level 50. Uh, the bag expansion is really nice. Um, it depends on what level armor fortification stones these are. Uh, it depends on what grade they are. It doesn't say what grade level they are. So I'm assuming they're probably high grade, but I don't really know um, because it doesn't necessarily state. But yes, that's going to do it for this week's content update. Face Cam will be back um, for next week's Black Desert update. Um, I don't know if I want to do separate videos for Bless and PSO2 news updates. Um, it looks like Bless has a generally released schedule for their um, for their different content here. It looks like March 12th to 13th is kind of their day. Um, the 11th is their update day. And then everything else is kind of... Um, 
they kind of just post various stuff every day so i don't know if i should do stuff on the so like the 11th that was wednesday so that was the black desert day so i don't know if i want to do a video for it or what i want to do yet but i will figure it out uh and we'll go from there uh, but uh, hopefully they'll get on a set schedule if it's every wednesday that we get a patch and new stuff released i will go over it every wednesday like i do with black desert i'll probably unle upload the bless unleashed video first and then black desert but uh, that's going to do it guys i hope you all enjoyed we'll have a video for black desert tomorrow and then well yeah i'll probably have a now nah, i'll probably have a bless unleashed video tomorrow and then a black desert video on monday uh probably have it up early just to let people know that i'm live streaming and uh then we'll get back to the regular schedule, hopefully. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, sorry for this week being a little bit weird. Um, hopefully we can get back to normal. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace.